For the first time ever, I got a chance to tour the SS American Victory ship, not as a daytime tourist, but as a paranormal investigator, thanks to Feelin' Paranormal. Uh, recently, I joined their investigative team, as well as along with some of their friends, including investigators and psychic mediums and fellow podcasters, to tour the ship and learn about its history and see if there is any active or residual activity there. And I think it's safe to say that the investigators believe that there is a lot of both. Check out this episode of Conjuring Phantom History, where I actually tag along on this investigation and interview some of the investigators during the active investigation. And of course, if you're listening to this on one of the podcast streaming services, consider checking out the Phantom History House YouTube channel, where you can see the bonus material that is contained within this episode. Hey, it's Steve with Phantom History, and I am here with Tiffany Phelan, outside of the SS American Victory ship here in Tampa. We have been doing an investigation. Oh, I hear voices. Me too. Up above us. We've been doing an investigation all night. How's it going? I think it's going pretty good. Have you caught anything? Well, we uh, had a really good Estes method session um, in the cargo hold where we also caught what looks like a shadow figure. Yes, and I saw it on two different cameras, yes. actually. So that's kind of amazing. It was really interesting. So your opinion, is this ship haunted? Yes. Yes. I think so. And is it active, residual, both? What do you think? I think it's a little bit of both. I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. And are they friendly, malevolent, they seem indifferent? Very friendly. And yeah, some yeah. of them a little bit more grumpy than others, perhaps. But yeah. yeah. Well, we are here late, keeping them. We up, are. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for having me in this group. This is a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. Oh, no problem at all. Feeling paranormal, everybody. They do investigations all the time. Check them out and uh, tag along. They certainly let me do it, and I don't know what I'm doing, so it's perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Steve again with Phantom History, sitting here with Mark, who is on the investigation tonight of the SS American Victory. Uh, what was your experience like? What is this? Is this well, place only? Yes, uh, it's, we definitely got some good activity. Um, three different people took photos in the same area and got full-bodied apparitions there. Um, he had some shadows, and then my teammate Christy, she took one. Uh, she had a, it had a face, a sailor's hat. You can see the arm hanging down. And then minutes later, I took one, and it looked like a shadow peering out. And when we all compared the photos, we noticed it's the same, mm -hmm. same section, same area. Right. So it's, the shadow exists in that area. There's a team back there now. They're trying to recreate it. Yeah. Uh, now you have you been on this ship before? Never. So this is your first time. What did you think of the ship as a whole? Well, I'm a Navy veteran, so that's why I wanted to wear my Navy veteran hat and a Navy shirt. And Perfect. As to kind of a trigger object. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I could get some better response from the sailors, and hasn't disappointed. Uh, we had uh, on the SLS camera. We had a, some stick figures in the reefer room over there. Uh, Christie's uh, psychic, so she had, so she felt it in there, and she heard a voice in the corner. And when I shined the SLS camera in there, we had the figures moving around, and it did uh, come off on the REM pod as well. Uh, so we did have a hit on the REM pod. I haven't checked out any of the uh, uh, video or uh, EVPs yet. Right, still early for that. That's something I'll have to do, and I'll let you know if I come up with it. Yeah, absolutely. But so I did, I did use a, a, an app on the phone, um, the Hope Spirit Box. And this is in the captain's quarters, and some was telling us a story. I mean, it was on and on and on. And I, again, I don't know what it is exactly. I'm going to have to listen to it with headphones. Right, and, uh, right. To get the details. Separate and get the details. Yeah. Sounds like it's telling us a story. Yeah. Uh. So it sounds like it's very active here, and you definitely think that there are uh, active and residual spirits. I here. think there are uh, intelligent spirits here, number one, because we're getting a lot of responses. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, so I'm setting all my equipment up now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, I think there is some residual as well. Okay. Um, there is some, some intelligent because we're getting direct responses uh -huh. uh, in, on the, uh, especially with the uh, REM pods. And uh, again, I, I, I'm dying to get home and start checking yeah, out well, the EVP. Well, you know, that's where the hard work is. You got to go and look then at I gotta all look the videos. Absolutely. We, get, we do we get a lot of video. Now, are you a regular paranormal investigator? No, I'm kind of an amateur. Uh, just I've been on to several investigations. I'm looking to get more investiga investigations going. All right. Um, this is a great place to be. I mean, yeah. there's a lot going on here. I see that. I oh, see that. Well, I know we got a little bit more time to investigate, but thank you for chatting with me. I appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. All right. Anytime.
The reefer room that Mark mentioned is, or was, a refrigerated area on the ship where perishables were kept. There was a time in the ship's history that refrigerated spaces were also used to transport the bodies of GIs killed in action during the Vietnam War. It's unclear who or what Mark and the rest of the team encountered in this space, but throughout the night there were reports of investigators picking up strange sounds or odd images in this room. And I'm sitting here with Christy, who is here with me at the SS American Victory here in Tampa, and you are a psychic medium. Yes, I am. Uh, have you been on this ship before? Yes, I have. Okay. Is it haunted? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your experience tonight. Did you pick up anything either through your abilities or through your equipment? Through my abilities and equipment, um, we were in the reefer room, I believe it's called, and I could hear a man's voice, but I don't know what he said, so I heard it, like, audibly. And we have um, one of those EVP type um, machines, and then we also have the the, um, the meter that picks up like on um, any energies that right. we buy it if we touch it or whatever. And we were asking it questions, and um, when I felt it in the room, I could feel it in there, but I heard it as well. And then um, the meter started going off, so that was a validation that there was actually something in there. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of people say that it was very active in that room yes. uh, tonight. Now, you also caught a photo yes. of something that you just showed me before we started talking. Tell yes. me about that. So, I was just taking a picture in the main area of the ship, and I was just taking a picture through the doorway and not thinking anything of it. I didn't see anything when I took the photo, but when I looked at it, um, I enlarged it, and you could see, I believe it was a merchant marine um, type of, uh, a, uh, what are they called, an officer. An officer uniform. Because it had the dark coat and then you could see the face and you could see the dark hat so yes there's absolute this is absolutely haunted but it's not like a scary haunting it's right, right more of just kind of spirits around and you can feel them and they're probably doing their day-to-day -day type things that they did yeah and she showed me that photo and i literally got goosebumps all over me it was, it was crazy um anything else you want to say about this place before i say goodbye to you tonight now, of course it's a beautiful ship it's yes. so historic which i absolutely love right the history is amazing yeah just all the things that happened with this this is like one of the three ships i believe that that are um, left that are left so yes please come out and if there's ever a paranormal type of activity come out here and experience yes. it yourself because it's amazing uh, well thank you for talking to me i appreciate it you're welcome for sharing your abilities with us tonight you're welcome thank right. you see you later bye It's not me. No, because I actually, I actually move, and you'll see here in a second. I move different locations just to make sure I'm not the culprit. Oh my god! I mean, it was flat in there when me and Goldie were in there. Well, I I was up above it, and um, I was looking at the the Kaaba monitor and it was telling me that the that it was disconnected hmm. and then while i was sitting in the chair trying to see if i could get it to reconnect i heard the music and i was like wait a second so i went downstairs and as i opened the door it was playing and then it shut off and then i closed the door and it started again this goes on for two and a half minutes and it was still doing it when i left because i'm like i gotta find out i'm gonna go get you Thanks to Tiffany and Ryan and Christy and Mark and everybody else who let me tag along for the SS American Victory Paranormal Tour here in Tampa. I had a really great time and I learned a lot and uh, met some really great people. Um, if you ever get a chance to go on a paranormal investigation of a historic location, I definitely recommend it. Uh, again, I learned a lot and met some great, great people that I hope to see again at investigations in the future. If you're listening to this on a podcast streamer, consider checking it out on our YouTube channel as well. And you can see some of the video clips that I included in the podcast that show a little bit more of the ship uh, in relation to the interviews that we had. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you next time on Conjuring Phantom History.